my very beautiful Capricorn. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to do your February monthly reading today. Now it is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for you. Everything that you guys need to know about the reading or how to get a hold of me or schedule personal readings, pretty much anything that you guys need to know is going to be in the description box below for you. So we are going to just pray and get right into it today. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very beautiful Capricorn, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Show me very clear messages for my beautiful Capricorns, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Show me Capricorn's energy, please. What is going on for my beautiful Capricorn? My card fell through. There we go. Capricorn's energy, please, for the month of February. May the messages that need to be heard the most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Cappies, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, Capricorns. Wow, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. Okay, I'm seeing a new direction. There's a whole new direction comes in, and you um, are the catalyst for this. So there's a lot of change coming in for you, and it's coming in because of actions that you're going to be taking or actions that you have taken or are taking now. I'm like the timeline is going to resonate a little differently for everyone, but you're the one who's initiating this change and it is absolutely beautiful change, Capricorn. So we have the King of Swords with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So I do feel like you are choosing Capricorn to walk away from a situation, um, to walk away from a connection, because it's it's not balanced. And what I mean is that is I feel like you were the one who's giving and giving and giving, sacrificing and sacrificing, putting all this work in, you know, always the one changing, always the one trying. Um, and your person isn't matching that effort. Your person isn't, you know, making the same efforts. They're not trying. And it feels like it's draining you. It's taking so much. And you tried to make this work. You really did. You wanted to make this work um because i do feel like there's a lot of love for that person but it's just got to the point where you know that you have to cut this off for some of you guys could have already or just recently cut it off for those of you you're you know doing that now but i do see with this king of swords you are speaking your truth to this person you are cutting out this connection because it no longer serves you because you you know you deserve more than this you deserve somebody who's going to match your effort you deserve somebody who's going to put in as much work as you are you deserve somebody who's going to love you the way that you're meant to be loved. And I feel like you um, initiating this change, you cutting this off, and you just knowing your worth um, is really bringing in this page of, page of Wands energy for you. It's really bringing in a new direction, new possibilities. And I really like what's coming in for you. What my favorite thing about this is, Capricorns, is that even though this connection was hard, difficult this connection was painful even though it didn't work out and you had to you know walk away from it um you're not letting this shake your confidence and you're not letting this change your views and outlooks and hopes for love um you're not letting this harden you um because you're still keeping you got the star card and the six of wands so you know like very confidently that there's love out there for you you know that you're going to find the person who is meant to treat you the way you deserve to be treated, the person that is meant for you, the person who's going to match all these energies, who's going to match that love, match that effort. And you know your worth. Like there is so much confidence from you. It's like a quiet like conviction that you're having. Like, you know what? I have to walk away from this. And yes, that didn't work out, but that's okay because... I know that there's a love for me out there. I know it's coming and I know what I bring to the table. 
I know what I'm worth. That's what this energy is. It's still having huge hopes for the future. Not being afraid of love, not being afraid to want it, not being afraid to hope for it. Um, because you know what you're worthy of and you know what you deserve. I love this for you. I love that you're not letting what you've been through in your past harden your outlook on love. You're still ready for it. And you know what? Because of that energy, because of that determination, that empowerment, that conviction, the universe is bringing it in for you. We have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. You could very well be um, dealing with a water sign. A water sign could definitely be coming in for you. Um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But the Page of Cups is, it's a love offer, okay? It's, it's a new love coming in. This is somebody who, um, they're very in tune with their emotions with this Queen of Cups. This is somebody who's going to like wear their heart on their sleeve. You're not going to have to guess how this person feels, okay? They're going to tell you. They're going to, right away, they're going to tell you, okay? You're going to know how this person feels. I feel like after somebody who, you know, this last person who didn't put any effort in, who didn't express themselves to you, who didn't try, you're going to find um, this Queen of Cups energy, this person who is very, you know, physically and emotionally affectionate, this person who does like to express themselves, this person who wears their heart on their sleeve. I feel like that's going to be um, very refreshing for you. It's going to be a new, something totally different than what you've been dealing with, and it's going to feel amazing, and it's really going to uplift you. Um, this person is definitely somebody who is fun. This person's playful. You know, it is the page of cups. This someone's going to be flirty and very attractive. Um, but you're going to, they have, they have a very soft, compassionate side to them too. A very emotional, you know, sensitive side. And I do feel like there's something about that that is very appealing to you. They're very, it's like they're a very gentle soul. So I do want to grab another deck and clarify. Let's see what's going on here. Tell me about this page of cups and queen of cups for my beautiful Capricorn. Okay. Wow, Cappies. I really love this for you. We have the devil in the reverse and the three of pentacles. So you're releasing everything that doesn't serve you. It's like almost like when you end this connection, all other toxic things just go. You feel like this huge weight lifted off your shoulder. And it's almost like you feel free. You feel light. You almost feel like a new version of yourself. I really like that with you. It's like you're finally freeing yourself. And this Three of Pentacles, this is a beautiful thing to see, especially in the beginning of new love, because this is all about partnerships. This is going to be somebody that you work really well with, somebody that you guys can build on a future with. This is somebody that you are going to get along with. You guys are going to know how to talk to each other. I'm even feeling like you guys are going to really help yourselves become the best versions. Like you guys are going to be like really working to build each other up. Maybe this person, you know, has been through a lot of stuff in their past too. And I feel like you guys are both really, just really helping each other, build each other up, helping each other, like motivating each other. Capricorns, you guys are great for that, for having goals and crushing them, okay? Um, for being on top of your game. I really feel like you guys are gonna be doing that for each other. This person is going to be, you know, really benefiting from your drive and determination and, um, that mindset and you're going to be really benefiting from their emotional support because this person is going to be very supportive of all your dreams of all your goals um they're going to be really there for you in an emotional way and i feel like you're going to really benefit from that you guys are going to make an absolutely beautiful connection here a beautiful partnership really building on the future together tell me more about this queen of cups page of cups can you tell me more about this Queen of Cups, Page of Cups for Capricorn, please? Okay. So, yes, this is starting off as something a little light here with the Page of Cups. All, all connections should, but I do feel like it's going to turn into something way more. Um, You have the Chariot here, Cancer Energy, so this is going to be, and the Queen of Cups is also Cancer Energy as well, so definitely could be a Cancer coming in for you. does not have to be. It could be any of the water signs. Or they can, you know, it can be any sign. They could just have a lot of water in their chart. Um, this is somebody who you're going to really want to move forward with. Um, you guys are really going to grow into something pretty serious here. It's like you guys are growing together and you're going right from the Three of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. This is like long-term stable commitment. Um, there's a lot of stability here. Um, this is like my husband and my wifey card. 
Like this is somebody that has that kind of potential and you guys are going to move forward together. This is somebody you're going to recognize this potential within each other almost immediately. Guys, I really love this reading for you and I love that you're finally freeing yourself from the things that no longer serve you, that you're letting the toxicity go. And I feel like this person, you know, is really going to be very good for you. And I feel like you're going to be really good for them too. This is just going to be a really special connection and I'm very excited for you guys. All right, let's grab some Oracle cards and get some confirmation, clarification, or advice. Can I get some confirmation, some clarification, or advice for my very beautiful Capricorns, please? Confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Capricorns, please. There we go. Let's see what we got. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So for some of you, you could know this person already. Um, but for most of you, I don't. I feel like this is just saying that this person that's coming in really could be the one, the one that you spend your life with. Um, attraction, you are, you are, oh, Mercury retrograde, guys, bear with me. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I guess this is a definitely a card for me of manifestation. So I do feel like you guys are manifesting this person in. You are attracting this person in. So really watch what your thoughts are and your beliefs are around love because that is what you'll see reflected back to you. Um, but I do feel like you guys are attracting the, the one, the person that is meant for you. What a beautiful confirmation. All right, let's use the Moonology cards for a little more confirmation, clarification, or advice. If I can manage to talk for the rest of the video. Mercury retrograde is hitting your girl hard. I'm telling you, it's hitting me hard, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. Balance spirituality with practicality. Pisces energy. Full moon in Pisces energy. So there's a need for you guys, I feel like, to bring your spiritual life into your daily life. Um, I don't know why I'm getting this because I normally don't get this from this card. But for some of you, I'm hearing like daily practices, whether it's like medi meditating every morning, even if you just do it, you know, 10 minutes or, um, you know, journaling. Um, there's something there. You guys need to start bringing that into your daily life. That's what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, I'm hearing literally the phrase daily practices. So there's there's something, and that's with that I'm double energy in reverse too. You guys could be letting go of some habits as well that no longer serve you. And it's time to release negativity. Yes, this is full moon and Scorpio energy. So like I said, a lot of water energy that's coming in for you. It's time, it's time to release that. So if you guys are in the process of, you know, getting rid of habits and mindsets, um, that no longer serve you or even that connection that no longer serve you spirits giving you that confirmation that it's time it's definitely time all right guys we're going to get your charms and then we're going to pull your angel messages so let's see what charm messages we have for you So, yeah, I, we have this little anchor here. So, it's my little picture, picture of an anchor. I do, like I said, with, this is really taking me back to that um, daily practices. I feel like there's some, some of you need to do some grounding. Um, whether that maybe try like a root chakra grounding meditation or maybe the daily practices to help ground you But I feel like after everything that you guys have been through and with this amount of change that is occurring um, I'm definitely feeling there's a need for you guys to really ground yourself I would say go outside and walk barefoot, but with the snow here I don't know what it's like everywhere, but here, you know with the snow I know that's not something that we really probably want to do. Um, so try like a root chakra meditation um there's a need for you guys to ground yourself. And I feel like it's just because you guys have been dealing with so much. And I feel like your root chakra might be a little bit unbalanced. And it'll really help you feel more centered and more stable and secure within yourself. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got the little knitting yarn and needles. 
So I feel like this is saying that like with this, you guys are going to be building something, okay? You guys are going to be basically making something, okay, with this person. I feel like there's a need for you guys to like really work together. And the thing with, um, you know, knitting is it's something that takes patience. It's not something that happens overnight. It's something that you guys slowly start and it slowly builds and builds and builds and kind of grows within itself. And I feel like that's what this connection is going to be. You guys are going to start small, okay, just like the page um, and really just keep building and growing with each other until you have something magnificent. Um, there's definitely going to be a need for like patience I'm feeling like with that. We also have the feather. So passed on loved ones, guys. Some of you guys could have a passed on loved one who's trying to communicate with you. So keep an eye out for feathers or songs or things that remind you of this person because I do feel like they're really watching over you through this time and they really want you to know that, okay? We have the two hearts, the two open hearts. There's a need to, you know, really be open and vulnerable with this person. Um, I do feel like this is a really strong soul connection, especially with the two hearts intertwined. Um, as long as you guys can be both open and vulnerable. But like I said, Cancer, or, or you guys probably, uh, Cancer, I don't know why. <sighs> probably because all that Cancer that's in your reading and Mercury retrogrades really got me. But um, Capricorn, as long as you can keep that heart open. But like I said in your reading, you know, I do see that you guys are being very open. You guys aren't hardening. You're not, you know, closing your heart off. You are being open. I feel like because of that, um, it's really going to help you strengthen this bond that you have with this person. And then we have the butterfly. Lots of change. Lots of transformation coming in for you. Really beautiful, though. It's really beautiful change and transformation. So, guys, I feel like there's just a need here for you guys to ground yourself and for you to make sure that you stay open and vulnerable. And... To understand that things take time to build. What's that expression? Um, things made to last take time to build. And I feel like that's something that's going to, that's really going to benefit you guys. I feel like that's the kind of love you're going to have. It's going to be slow. It's going to be steady. It's going to be stable. But it's going to be made to last. All right, guys. Let's grab your angel messages for you for the month of February. That one popped out already. Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my very beautiful Capricorns, what messages do you have for them that would help them the very most through the month of February? There we go. All right. New romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. New romance is imminent. I feel like that's what Spirit's giving you that confirmation to still, yes, to be open, like we talked about with the open hearts um, and being vulnerable. But yes, new love is definitely coming in. And spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. So like I said, I, with the, especially with the spending time alone and meditating with nature, there is definitely a need for you guys to ground yourself. That ungrounded kind of overwhelmed feeling that I was feeling. I feel like that's coming from your guys' energy. I really need, feel like there's a need for you guys to try some root chakra meditations or find some way of grounding yourself, um, especially with the more change that's coming in, okay? I hope that this helps, guys. Um, when I do these videos, it is always my goal that you guys leave here with something, whether it's confirmation, clarification, advice, um, or sheer entertainment. I really hope that you guys got something out of this today. If this does not resonate, check out your other sign placements. If it does resonate, please let me know in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys. I love reading your comments. I swear it makes my whole heart happy. Um, if you guys want personal prayers for any reason, um, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And guys, I will go through and pray for you personally, okay? That's on any video you see or any time at all. Even if it's a month later, go. you can go to a video and put a little prayer emoji, guys. And I will pray for you, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Until next time, bye.